Today we're going to be sterilizing a quarantine tank. I have a 10 gallon tank that I use for tank transfer method and this applies for any other tank that you use even if you're not doing tank transfer method. Uh, if you want to sterilize your quarantine tank and you have a filter involved instead of just the air stone and heater then uh, this all applies. Okay, So we have our tank and you want to make sure that you have all the equipment you used during your tank transfer method or your quarantine. Any hoses you use to siphon out water for water changes, that should go through sterilization unless you want to just replace it. Um, your heater, your temperature probe or thermometer, any sand you might have used. I had a rasp go through my quarantine last. This was several months ago, so it looks really gross. You're just going to take that and chuck the sand. All your PVC fittings, uh, any filter that you might have used, you're going to take the media out of that and sterilize all of the hard components inside of it. You can use, I have distilled white vinegar, really cheap, uh, and I have bleach. Now this is scented bleach, it's lavender scented, so I do not recommend using scented bleach on any of your fish tank equipment but it's the only one I had in the house so it's here just for example purposes I'm not using that today I am using the vinegar so we need all of our equipment and we need a water source and we're just gonna fill this up okay so we're just gonna fill this up get all the nasties out of it I've left this in the garage since my last batch of fish went through it and it's really nasty. It's got a lot of dried salt on the bottom of it, a leaf. And this is rather hard to do while holding my phone. But we want to get most of that wet and loosened up and then emptied back out again before we put our vinegar in to soak. Okay, so I'm just using the hose that needs to be sterilized along with the rest of the equipment to siphon out a good portion of this water. I just wanted to rinse everything really quickly and get some of the hard salt deposits off of it since mine was left for so long. This is going to take a few minutes, but I'm going to just get it down enough to where I can lift it without hurting myself and just dump everything out of it. Then we're going to get the, we're going to refill it and we're going to use the vinegar and we're going to scrub everything. Okay. So we're empty. We've been rinsed. I removed the big leaves from it. Just sitting in the garage. That was kind of gross. Alright. So now we're going to put a little more water in here. And we're going to put some vinegar in here. And we're going to scrub it down. So. Or handy dandy vinegar and there's a proportional deal that you can do but this vinegar is not going to hurt anything it's not going to hurt you it's not going to leave residues it's just going to smell bad so we've got our vinegar in there we've got our old washcloth that we don't care about messing up and we've got our water and so you just go through you know, and I'm going to use both hands in just a minute, but you just go through and you're going to wipe everything down. We're going to wipe down the glass. We're going to grab our heater and make sure we're getting it really well. Especially where these clips are. If you're using the clip suction cups, which I don't know why since they don't work very well, then remove those and get underneath them and get around the clips. If you want to keep using the clips, go ahead. Get all the PVC, all the sides, get the bottom. Okay. Okay, so we've rinsed everything, or we've scrubbed everything down. We are gonna just rinse it all out. I've gotten I even got the tube that I was using. 
So we're just gonna rinse everything very well. Now that I got the majority of it, I'm going to take each piece out and rinse it individually and set it aside to dry. Which I can't do one handed. So, we are going to pause. And we're done. So we're going to leave all of these pieces out to dry. I have the tank sitting a little off so that it's got air access on the inside and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back out here uh, tomorrow and check it to make sure it's getting enough air and if it is and it's mostly dry I'm going to flip it back over so it can just continue to air dry. So three days out in the nice bright sun in Texas should get it nice and dry for us. After that we're clean and ready to reset for new fish. It's as easy as that. That's the down and dirty of getting your quarantine tank nice and clean.